what's cultural appropriation that's a business issue that needs to be managed and what are examples of things that really we can put to the side I'm gonna give you a couple examples of things that you can ignore and the things that you really probably should pay attention to. Today's example is Jack Harlow. So Jack Harlow got in trouble for wearing a bonnet to a football game. And people said, hey, this is cultural appropriation, got all kinds of backlash on Twitter. That's one that we can cabin and let me tell you why. First of all, you'd have to decide that wearing a bonnet is something that belongs to a culture historically and so that's something that's being borrowed. That's first of all the first thing that's going to be hard to establish. What was going on here is not cultural appropriation. It's about having different standards for different people. So just call it that. Say how come the black ladies wearing their bonnets in the street get called the ghetto and Jack Carlo doesn't. That's completely different from cultural appropriation. So let's stop calling things that are not appropriation, actual appropriation. Last point, and some people aren't going to like this. It's the question of wearing the bonnet in the street. Are you wearing a hair bonnet to cover your hair or is it a fashion statement? Is it about Jack Harlow, a white male rapper doing it? Would the reaction be the same if Beyonce did it or Jay-Z did it or you know whoever? So is it about the fact that some people are catching flack for wearing the bonnet? when they're covering their hair or is it about who was wearing the bonnet a famous singer versus just regular everyday people covering their hair and then being told it's not professional so completely different issue from cultural appropriation so if i were jack hardo in that position what i would say is yeah i agree it's not correct that some people get told that they shouldn't be able to wear the bonnet in public and I can wear the bonnet in public if people are wearing it as a fashion statement let them wear it don't call it ghetto that would be the response right this is about differential treatment and let's acknowledge that but it's not cultural appropriation because what's the culture that's being appropriated usually when we're talking about really cultural heritage that's been passed down through generations that's being used for commercial purposes that's a different conversation but somebody deciding to wear a bonnet as a fashion statement isn't cultural appropriation that's my take on it what do you think are you with Jack Cardo that this is maybe just a fashion statement or do you think that it's cultural appropriation or do you agree with me that it's really about differential treatment maybe even racist treatment but not really cultural appropriation I'm Jan from Drop Culture, Cultural Intellectual Property Consulting.